Hello, this is Skyhawk here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you're basically going to want to start out playing your Minecraft. I know I've had some other videos posted, but I've never really explained how you start out playing Minecraft and stuff. So now, basically this is what it's going to look like when you first buy the game or something. Or something, come on. Or, or if you play the demo. But, we want you're going to have all these options. Basically, we're just going to worry about single player. Multiplayer, you're not going to really deal with when you're first starting. Texture packs, they're nice. You have like a ton of different options. But, um, not really important. Well, for now. So now we're going to click single player. Alright? And then you get all this stuff. Now, with all this stuff, you're not going to have because these are all worlds that I've been playing in and that I've created. So, for showing you an example, uh, let's just show you, we'll show you this one because I don't remember what it was. So, that's basically how you'd start the game. And it's going to load. And this is me right now. So, this is just an inside of look of what kind of capabilities that are in Minecraft. And I mean this is very simple. I've only played on this map a few times. And it's really not that hard to get to a point like this. But how do you make a map, alright? How do we do that? Well you're gonna go here to create a new world. So we're gonna do create a new world. And we're gonna want to title it. We're gonna title it Minecraft. And our game mode can be survival, hardcore, or creative. Survival mode is a mode you'll probably want to play in. It's a lot of fun, and it's basically the game mode that most people play in. Creative mode, or sorry, hard, yeah, creative mode, is basically if you want to create huge structures, buildings, designing stuff. But really, if you don't know how to play Minecraft, you're not going to get to all this creative stuff. I mean, yes, you get unlimited resources, free flying, but you don't really truly understand what you're looking at. Now, you don't want to play hardcore when you first start, because if you die once, and trust me, you will die in Minecraft, what's going to happen is that you can't start again. You won't generate in the same seed. So once you die in hardcore mode, you're dead for good. Now, if you want, go to more world options. You can generate your own seed. So if you type in random numbers, trust me, it doesn't matter how long, what you can get is just a random seed that generates based on what you've typed. You can even type words and sayings like, I love Minecraft. You can't even spell Minecraft. You do that, and it generates it somehow. I don't know. It just gives you a random number. But if you leave it blank, you get a random seed, which is a lot more fun because you never know what you're going to get. Next, you're going to want to keep your generate structures on because it makes the game a lot more fun. If you turn them off, you might get bored of the game. So I recommend keeping them on because then you can trade with villagers, which is a new update in the 1.3.2 now allow cheats um, they've just changed this so that way you can't cheat if you're not in the creative mode right I'm still oh wait no I'm in hardcore mode sorry I'm gonna do survival mode but you can allow cheats which lets you switch game mode so if example if you're in survival you can do dash game mode and switch your game mode to survival so then you can switch back and forth but I mean then you also get bored because then you're not really doing anything legit so I recommend keeping this off but you can turn it on if you're having difficulties now world type uh, you don't really want to change this if you're in survival you could do large biomes which just makes them bigger which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to 
Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it default. I mean, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. You're still going to have everything. But, I mean, if you like larger jungles or tundras, that's the place you want to do it. There's also super flat, but you can't do much in super flat on survival. You really have to be on creative to do anything in super flat. Because basically, it just creates a flat seed, and it allows you to build almost as high as you want. And everything's flat, so nothing's going to get in your way, like mountains or rivers or oceans. So you can just build whatever you want. And this is the stuff you see at Creative Building, the Minecraft Top 5. You see this uh, probably in Shin's or on the Yogg's cast for Shin. He does a couple of things showing how he designs stuff in Super Flat. There's also an option, though, that you can do a bonus chest. And the bonus chest basically gives you a few basic tools which I'm going to teach you how to craft anyway so it's not really necessary but if you really don't feel like the first ten things that you had to do in Minecraft to start out just turn it on you get a few tools and it makes it a lot easier to start out I mean but they're not that uh, good so you'll basically just have to make your own stuff anyway so I'm going to turn that off you're going to hit create new world once I mean I recommend going through making sure everything is exactly make sure your game mode survival not hardcore so you're going to do create new world and like I said it's going to create a random seed and it's also going to create a random spawn point. So we have no clue where I'm going to spawn. I could spawn in the ocean. It's happened before. Um, now when you're first starting out, you will experience a little bit of a lag. Because, especially if it's your first time, I mean, it is generating a lot of things. Oh my god, I always seem to be generating in tundras and stuff. Alright, so, yeah, I'm lagging a little bit. But, that's okay. If I can only exit this tundra. A couple mountains. And you'll probably see a couple world holes where it just looks like there's nothing. Now, uh... It'll eventually go away. Now I know I'm getting a lot of frame rate stuff right now uh... I'm afraid to move because it's just gonna like crash any moment okay there we go I guess I guess this is okay so now I'm looking around try to get your bearings straight now if you did click on the bonus chest Somewhere around here, I think it's within like 20 blocks or so of where you began. You're going to find some of... You're going to find a chest with some torches around it. And it'll basically have your supplies in there. It's not necessarily exactly where you spawn. So now also, if you want to know what seed that was generated, because remember it was random, you're going to want to hit your T-cat or... You're going to want to hit the letter T on your keyboard, backslash, seed, and that tells you the seed that you generated. So if you type that in exactly as it is into another, create another world, and then seed generator, you type that in, what's going to happen? It's going to generate this exact same place. So if you want to even test it yourself, go ahead copy the seed down, type it into your own Minecraft, and you'll generate in the same spot I'm in now. Now there's other commands if you do dash help, um, but when you're in survival with no, with cheats off, really there's, these are the only three commands that you can do. Uh, backslash me really doesn't do anything. So like I was saying, 
backslash me really doesn't do anything but when you get on multiplayer servers it looks nice oh look there's a cow there you might see a couple of these guys around oh they're so ugly alright but next episode or yeah next episode I'm gonna teach you what do you need to do I mean you've generated into this huge world you wanna go out and explore but look up or over there right there that's the sun it's a big square or at least I think that's the sun I'm trying to get out of here uh... let's go over here and I'll show you because you want to make sure you're not just wandering around for too long yep that's the sun which is actually really bad that the sun's up there because that means it's almost noon and I've basically spent this whole time talking to you guys so I'm gonna end this episode here and when I start a new episode we're gonna go out get some basic supplies and bunker down for the night because we don't want to get killed by all the creepy mobs that are gonna spawn around us alright so thank you for watching this has been Skyhawk, signing out.